This is Hadi Disha, Interventional Cardiovascular Specialist, coming to you with a video on proper technique for pericardial synthesis. It is very important to be cognizant of the angles of a puncture of the pericardium, especially in the frontal axis, 45 degrees, sometimes 30 degrees towards the left shoulder, and in the coronal axis, it would have to be much shallower, 15 to 45 degrees. In my experience, 15 to 20 degrees at most to avoid the abdominal and uh, thoracic structures. There are three approaches, parasternal long, uh, apical, and the most uh, favored is the subxiphoid. The first way to confirm intrapericardial position is by actually visualizing the needle going uh, under ultrasound guidance. That's the first way. Uh, usually a large abdominal probe is required. You can see here the needle traversing the thoracic wall, then the parietal pericardium, and you can see that needle by ultrasound or by echo probe. The second way is uh, definitely fluoroscopy. You really need to see the course of the wire, which is obviously a micropuncture wire, kind of uh, contour the silhouette of the heart instead of going up to through the pulmonary artery, which would be disastrous. Uh, that means that you're in the RV. Third way is contrast injection through the micropuncture dilator. Fourth way is hemodynamics. Uh, we want to make sure we're not in the right ventricle by connecting to a pressure transducer. Fifth way is the old-fashioned way of connecting the alligator clip of an EKG and making sure that there are no ST elevations, which mean that the needle is touching the myocardium. And finally, my favorite way is the agitated saline injection through the micropuncture dilator uh, so that you don't commit for a micropuncture sheath. Obviously, agitated saline, you can see here how easily it is uh, to visualize that. Then you exchange for a very stiff, and plus super stiff with a floppy tip. Get yourself enough um, wire um, purchase uh, in the oblique sinus to advance the eight French dilator, and then obviously the pericardial drain, which could be a pigtail or a, a side hole drain. You can see in this case, we aspirated 700 cc's of serosanguinous fluid, and always confirm with the echo post. Thank you.